Well, an extra $2 billion is now one step closer to landing in the CCSD budget. The proposal could drastically increase funding for departments like English learners, at-risk students, and special ed. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Pagaro breaks down how the budget cleared a major hurdle today. I just want to remind everybody that our job is to fund education. Your unions and your collective bargaining is what does the rest of it. We have put a 26% increase into funding of education, a $2.3 billion piece, and so we have done our part. In order to tackle other legislative priorities by law, the state must pass an education budget. Earlier this year, Governor Joe Lombardo made it a priority to increase school funding, and it seems poised to happen. Assemblywoman Danielle Monroe Moreno says superintendents and districts need to put these funds directly into the hands of teachers and kids. I would encourage them to look at that additional funding and put that money into the classrooms, into the resources that our educators need, into their paychecks. The 26 percent increase in funding comes as Nevada ranks near the bottom of states when it comes to per pupil funding. A survey issued last week ranked Nevada 49th when it came to student performance. It took into account reading and math test scores, high school graduation and dropout rates, and ACT and SAT scores. I don't disagree with any of this, but I do think we need some guardrails. We need to make sure that we're not just talking about money, that we're talking about outcomes and performance and making sure these programs work and lift our children up. Because in the end, it's about education. Let's take a closer look at those numbers now. Currently, per pupil, CCSD gets a little bit more than $7,000. However, that could increase to over $9,000. The new budget now goes before the Senate and the Assembly for a vote. And then if it passes, it's on to the governor's desk for his signature.